let's take a look. Oh my goodness, they look good. Air fryers are all the rage, and for good reason. They're essentially countertop convection ovens, and the best ones cook crispy food quickly and efficiently. Air fryer technology has changed a lot since we first started testing these machines. There are all kinds of styles and types now, including air fryer toaster ovens. So which air fryer is right for you? Do you want one that's also a toaster oven? Or a traditional air fryer is better? Hannah and I are gonna help you decide. First up, Lisa. So let's talk about air fryers. You know, when they first came out, I was a huge skeptic. I have come to really like these. They are fun to use and they're great. The words air fryer are a little bit misleading. They're not actually frying the food. They're not a replacement for a deep fryer. They're more like a replacement for your big oven, but in a smaller form. They use less oil because they don't need to use as much as you would put on if you were deep frying. You'd have a pot of hot oil. They use just a tablespoon or a teaspoon of oil on the food, or none at all in some cases, and it will crisp up and mimic that crispy, delicious taste of fried food. However, the air part is that it's a convection oven. That means there's fans in there that circulate that hot air around the food, which is held in a little basket. We recently went back and retested all kinds of air fryers, every different design that we could find on the marketplace. There's a whole bunch of different styles. Some look like little ovens with different racks in them. Some have a flip top that open up, and then some are this style, which is a drawer style, where the food is accessed through the drawer in the front. The style that has the flip top always felt really scary because the heating element is exposed when you lift that flip top. And when you're in there doing stuff with the food, you always felt like it was gonna come back down and burn you. And if you have your air fryer that you want your kids to be able to use, you don't wanna go there. Those ones with the different shelves in them that were made more like little mini ovens were terrible. You could not control where things dropped. It was a mess. The stuff never cooked on the bottom. Even if you rotated the racks, don't bother. The drawer style works the best. It's the safest, it's the most easy to access the food, keeps you away from the heating element, which is inside on the top where your hand will never go. And it just kept all the food in a nice area where all the heat could get at it. There wasn't parts of it that weren't frying well, like those two layer ones where the bottom rack never got warm. So we tested these when they first came out several years ago and our first GearHeads video was about air fryers. At that time, our winner was by Philips and it's a great air fryer, we still recommend it. One of the only problems with the Philips is that it's kind of expensive and we do have a Best Buy by GoWise, but a few years have passed and so many more models have come out. So we went back and looked at everything out there and came up with a new winner. And that's this one, it's called the Instant Vortex Plus six quart model. It has a lot of the same characteristics that that Philips did and it has a few things that we like even more about it. It is that drawer style which we really love. It has a nice, fairly compact overall profile. Some of these air fryers are humongous. This is not bad. It's a kind of moderate sized air fryer and at the same time has a huge capacity. This drawer is 10 by 10 inches and about four inches deep. This can hold so much food where most countertop little air fryers could not hold very much. It was always good for like one or two portions. This can hold portions for four people. We were even able to put a whole four pound chicken in here and roast it. You're not sacrificing that compact profile, which is a huge factor that put this one over the top. The other thing we really love is that the interior is lined with nonstick. Now it doesn't get hot enough to make that dangerous, but it makes it so easy to clean. It's just a quick little wash and you're done. It preheats unlike some air fryers that are out on the market, but it only preheats for two minutes. And that just made the performance so much better. Everything we cooked in this, whether it was, you know, French fries or vegetables or meat or fish, Anything you put in here really cooked beautifully. It got nice and warm within two minutes and then it automatically switches over to cooking. It reminds you to flip the food halfway, which is important in a lot of air fryer recipes. And when you pull the drawer out to do something, it pauses the timer and all the settings are there when you put that drawer back in and it resumes. You don't have to hit a start button again so much more convenient than some other models out there. It does a few more things than your average air fryer. I mean, it can also roast, it can bake, 
it can reheat, it can broil. And, you know, I was curious about whether it could also be used as a toaster. And I have to tell you, the answer is yes. I made this lovely piece of toast right in this thing using the broiler. And it just took a couple minutes. I also made something else, which is kind of on the other end of the spectrum. I made a cheesecake in this air fryer last night. Now I've made a bunch of cheesecake and our recipe is fantastic for classic cheesecake, New York style, but it takes about 12 hours. This was about an hour and of course it's smaller, but maybe that's a good thing because it's so delicious. I have some nice, healthy, and gorgeous Brussels sprouts. And these are just real simple, cut in half and tossed with some olive oil, salt and pepper. They cook fairly quickly and you can get beautiful roasted Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna set this to cook at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. Here we go, it's done. Oh my God. Oh, look how brown they are. They're gorgeous. Because the food is spread out, you get this gorgeous uniform browning. Everything cooks very evenly and really gets nice and crispy. You can just hear the crispy little pieces on the edge, which is what I love. So we made healthy roasted Brussels sprouts. Now let's try a protein. I've got chicken wings and they're already sizzling because that basket is hot because preheating just starts that right up. I'm gonna put them on a single layer and that will make sure every single piece is, I could easily do a couple pounds in here, but I'm doing one pound. And now it starts cooking. This recipe is called lemon pepper chicken wings and it was just developed for our upcoming cookbook called Healthy Air Fryer. And we have another cookbook right here called Air Fryer Perfection, which has lots of really good recipes in it for all kinds of good things. So totally worth picking up if you're wondering what else you can do in an air fryer. We're done. Let's see. These look amazing. Oh my God. So, you know, the really amazing thing is these gorgeous, crispy, golden chicken wings with no added fat, just salt and pepper, and then tossed with some parsley and lemon zest and served with some lemon is, you know, probably the healthiest chicken wing you'll ever have. So now you see me make chicken wings, you see me make Brussels sprouts, I made a cheesecake. You saw me make a piece of toast in this air fryer, but you can do a lot of other things as well. You can roast garlic, you can make crispy shallots, toast spices and nuts. You can make croutons, so many things that you can do in this little bitty oven right here. So now Hannah's gonna show us another style of air fryer, which is the air fryer toaster oven. Air fryers have been all the rage, as you probably know these past few years. And as you might have also noticed, air frying capabilities have popped up in all different kinds of machines. And one of them is toaster ovens. Toaster oven air fryers have become a major thing. And what they really do is just integrate air fryer technology. This is a convection toaster oven that comes with an air fryer basket. Air frying in general is a little bit of a marketing term, but you know what? We really like them. They turn out really delicious, crispy food. Here's our winner, the Breville Smart Oven Air. You know, they really hit the nail on the head. It's a great toaster oven. You can make toast. You can fit your whole artisanal slice in here. It can broil. It can act like a second smaller oven on holidays in addition to air frying, which makes it a really great addition to your kitchen if, if you are looking for a toaster oven as well. Because look at the size of this thing. It's big, I had to stand in front of my table so I could see over it. You know, it's bigger and it's also more expensive. But if you really want an air fry and you also need a toaster oven, it combines both of those two things spectacularly. We loved its digital interface over here. Really easy to navigate, really clear to use, easy to tell what the machine is doing at any given time. We also love that it has multiple racks, you know, it's like a real oven. You can have multiple layers in there at once, which can be a really efficient usage of space. One downside of this machine is the price. It is expensive. So we chose a second place model that is a little less expensive from Oster. It doesn't quite cook as evenly. It doesn't broil as well and it was a little harder to clean, but it does a reasonably good job of combining air fryer technology and a toaster oven. So it's a great, less expensive option. 
All right, so the first thing we looked at in testing was, does this work as a toaster oven? You know, let's start there. And one thing we loved about the Breville is it has different rack levels inside here, and it's clearly marked on the door. So right now I'm on the bake and roast level. I'm gonna move it up to four, which is the toast and bagel one. There are, if you look inside here, I'm gonna take the rack out, it's just like an oven. And there are heating elements in the top and the bottom. There's a fan over here for that convection air fryer experience. So I'm moving this up to the fourth level. It has different levels for different applications, so you, your food is cooked really perfectly. I got some larger bread also to illustrate the point that I love this about toaster ovens. You can use artisanal slices. Now we have long slot toasters, which we love too, but the regular smaller toasters can be a little too short for these uh, modern artisanal loaves. I'm gonna toast it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's already on toast and it's selected as medium. There's a gradient over here in light and dark. So I am gonna go with like a medium. I love my toast like golden brown, just on the darker side of golden brown. So that's what I've set here. I love that you can really personalize your, your settings. And then I just hit start. There are you know multiple dials and buttons on here, but this was really easy to use. And we found again and again, whatever the appliance is, that is so important. If something is confusing, you're just not gonna use it or it will cause you like a little bit of friction in your everyday routine. Uh, I have a kettle that I feel that way about. Uh, so this one really just reduces the friction and you know, it toasted evenly. One thing, you know, some of the toasters like toasted only the top and not the bottom or like their light was really actually pretty dark or their dark was like totally blonde, pale, white toast. So we wanted something that was really calibrated too. We also wanted to be able to accommodate like really dark, you know, crumpets, high moisture breads, things like that. We wanted to be able to toast those kinds of things as well, not just come out and have to enter, you know, go through three cycles to get some, some um, color on there. All right, check this out, 13 seconds here. Oh, look, it did it. The light turns on right when it's almost done so you can see in there and see uh, what you think of the doneness level. I love that, you know, you pay more for this machine, but it is luxurious. Look at this toast, beautiful perfectly golden brown, which I absolutely love. So, you know, check off this box. It works great as a toaster, which is important, but let's move on to other things. Air frying, it's not crispy as deep frying, but it's still pretty awesome. And we found this machine to do a fantastic job of air frying. You know, we tested like nine toaster oven air fryers. We only like two of them. So not everybody is integrating this technology well. For some reason, toasters are hard to make. People have a hard time making toasters. Anyways, I'm gonna show you the air fryer function. Here we go, 418 minutes. I'm gonna turn them over halfway through and I scroll down, select air fryer, I'm gonna start. So this is preheating. This is another difference. Traditional air fryers, either they don't preheat or they take like one to three minutes. It's super fast. This will need to preheat. It's not gonna take a long time, but it is a slight difference. So right in here, this is the rack three. It says it clearly on the door. I have my tray right here with my chicken wings that I was gonna do. As you can see, the tray is perforated here. It's like mesh, you know, it's like a strainer and that is to increase that airflow. You really want the air all the way around these things so you can get that really nice crispy exterior. Most air fryers, even like traditional drawer style ones, their basket is perforated for the same reason. All right, so it's halfway through cooking and I'm gonna flip these right now. If you'll watch, it's pausing while I'm doing this so it doesn't eat out of the total cook time, which is awesome. All right, so we just finished up air frying our wings. Let me show you these, they look gorgeous. Wow. Check that out. They look so good. I can already tell they're gonna be nice and crispy. I have some franks with melted butter back there that I'm gonna to toss them in. Before I do, there is chicken grease all over this thing. And so that really is one pro of a regular traditional air fryer. They have baskets that are coated in nonstick. This means they're super easy to clean. This is stainless steel. It's not coated in nonstick. It is harder to clean. You know, things get stuck within the little wires. It's doable, but compared to an air fryer, they are certainly easier to clean both the tray and then now you have to deal with the inside of here. So it is something to consider. All right, so I've got some Franks and melted butter here. I'm gonna put the wings right in here. Beautiful. All right, I have these all tossed in the sauce, look how good they look. Oh, it smells absolutely delicious. Chicken wing facial. You know, I had so much fun playing around with this machine. It has so many features on it. It's like buying a smaller second oven and it really does, you know, bake, roast, broil, air fry, 
really, really well. But you know, like I said, we tested a ton of models and not all of them did. So you really have to pay attention to which brand you're buying for an air fryer toaster oven. If you're looking for an air fryer and a toaster oven, the Breville Smart Oven Air Toaster Oven Air Fryer really is the best of both worlds. It crushes it at air frying, it crushes it at being a toaster oven. It has more features, but it is bigger and more expensive. If you want an air fryer and a toaster oven, combining them in one machine, it's perfect. The Breville Smart Oven really does it well and we highly recommend it. However, if you're mostly interested in air frying, we recommend just getting an air fryer. Our winner is more compact. It's also super easy to clean. It just has that one nonstick basket. It costs less and it's great at air frying. So for more information about the products we talked about today, check out the links below. Make sure to ask us your air fryer questions in the comments, like this video, and hit that subscribe button.